Um, so I am Jesse Savo. I'm the founder and owner of Blue Barrel Rainwater Catchment Systems, and we um, specialize in providing a code compliant solution for multi-barrel systems made from locally recycled drums. So we're actually based up in Santa Rosa in the North Bay, um, but we serve customers all over the USA with the solution by partnering with food producers who generate these food grade drums in their waste stream. And someone had asked how many um, times the barrels are used by the um, food industry. Food industry is highly regulated. They can only use brand new drums. So that keeps a plethora of these high quality UV resistant drums um, um, coming through our waste stream. And our, our job at Blue Barrel is to upcycle those into um, well-designed rainwater catchment systems. So, but I'll, I'll just show a few examples of what a Blue Barrel system can look like. Um, it's a very flexible design. Um, our, our our, our trademark design is an underplumb system. We're actually the only professionally designed system on the market that's designed this way. So you'll notice the plumbing, plumbing actually runs underneath the whole system. Um, so it's mostly not visible. That protects it from sunlight and from other impacts that could you know, crack plumbing. So it helps keep it protected. But it also keeps the barrels fully draining. So um, you'll notice that you're actually drawing the water from the bottom of the barrels. It's a self-cleaning and fully draining design. So those are a couple of advantages to doing it this way you get access to all of the storage capacity that you install. So um, our, our um, smallest blue barrel system is a two barrel setup. Um, and then there's really no upper limit. The one on the right is the largest system we've sold to date. That's a 42 barrel system. And um, if you look closely, you can see that um, there are barrels doubled up in certain sections where that fence contours a little bit. Um, the, this user followed the contours of her fence um, to do double rows of barrels in certain places. So. 42 barrels comes out to 2,300 gallons. So you can start to get creative with um, how you want to use your space. A blue barrel system can be any color. So a lot of people ask me about blue. Um, the reason we use blue drums is that these are industry standard food grade. Um, so, you know, you may find white drums out there or yellow. Um, if you don't like blue, I guarantee you're not gonna like yellow, but yellow is toxic. Um, red can be toxic. Black is generally made of recycled plastic and not food grade to begin with. So we always start with blue drums, um, but you can paint them any color you like. So here's someone who did a really nice job painting them to match his house. Um, Chris showed some pictures of decorative painting and we actually have um, blogs on our website for how to paint drums, both just solid colors and also the decorative style. It's a slightly different approach for both of those. So um, if you're wary about the blue, um, don't worry, there's almost no limit to the um, creativity that you can apply. Um, and you can round corners. Our, our system design is modular. Um, I already mentioned you can do double rows, you can round the corners, so um, you can really make use of the space you have there. These folks put um, eight barrels sort of rounding the corner on a garden shed. The shed is 12 by 12, um, and this system fills with only four inches of rain. Um, and then you can collect from many downspouts. So um, I, yeah, I don't wanna overwhelm folks. I think everybody approaches these projects differently. Some people wanna look at their whole house and come up with a large scale comprehensive solution um, and others you know, wanna just start small, get a feel for it, which is totally fine. Um, I advocate for whichever approach feels best for you as long as you get started. Um, but what these folks did, all of these pictures come from the same property. The picture on the far right is a real standard. It's a nine barrel setup on an existing concrete surface and it's collecting from one downspout and then the same house on the other side um, they they installed barrels kind of along their entire side yard space but you'll see they jog from one side of the fence to the other um, and all of those barrels are actually connected underground there's a pipe underground um, so that so that they level because they have irregular amounts of runoff that come from each downspout they have one of those downspouts doesn't collect a whole lot of water um, so they wanted both all, that whole row to um, be accessing the water that comes out of their heavier flow downspout. Um, so all of these things are possible. You can connect multiple downspouts to one system. There we go. We can flex around obstacles. So um, our standard design, um, we give you all the dimensions for tight spacing. You really only need two feet by two feet per barrel. So if you want to go take a look at your side yard next to one of your downspouts, um, you just measure the linear space. If you have a 20, 20 foot stretch, you have room for uh, 10 barrels as an example, um, but it's really easy to flex around obstacles. So these folks have a tree in there and they just worked around it. Um, you can work around utility boxes, floor to ceiling windows, whatever you need to work around. So you can always um, space barrels out more to 
meet the needs of your site. And really, I mean, there's just a lot of ways you can customize. So here are a few common examples. Um, upper left, this person also painted his barrels. And then you can see he's sort of rounding a soft corner in the front there. So no limit to the configuration you can do. Um, and then if you look closely, you might be able to tell he's collecting from two downspouts. His system spans a, a length where he's accessing a downspout next to his garage on the left side, and then another downspout um, up closer to his front door. Um, the picture in the upper right, a lot of people have this predicament where they may not have space right next to the downspout for the barrels. Maybe this person didn't want those barrels right in front of her window. Um, so we do have hose extension. You can actually carry that, you can lengthen your conduit line sort of as much as you need to if you don't have um, space for barrels right up next to the downspout. Um, the picture kind of in the lower middle is that's installed under a deck. So that's a hillside property and they had a lot of space under there deck. Um, they had planned 10 barrels, double row of five, and then in the end found they had a tree root that was kind of encroaching on that corner there. So they just um, didn't install the 10th barrel. Um, so it's just another show of making it work for your site. Um, you can create a shape that works around what, what other obstacles you need to. And then on the lower right, that's actually a house I used to live in. And what we did, um, you know, one of the beauty of this underplum design, you don't, you notice there's not a tap on every barrel. And that's because the way these are plumbed together underneath, um, you're actually creating a system where all the barrels in your system are gonna uh, empty and fill together and they're gonna function like a bigger tank. So there's a lot of advantages to that. You only need one outlet to drain all the water, but it's a flexible design and you can put outlets wherever you want. So if you want spigots sticking out a couple different places, if you want to run a drip system off of either end, you can do all of the above. So in the lower right, um, what we did, I, I get lazy sometimes and in the middle of the winter when it's not, when it's actually wet outside and raining, I don't want to go outside to fill my bucket to water my um, house plants. So I just installed a spigot that faces the back door. Um, and we just stick our head out the door and fill up the water to water the house plants in the winter. Um, so just a few examples of different things you can do. Uh, first of all, I just want to say, if all this is a little overwhelming, we actually have an interactive website that will walk you through the steps of find, siting your system means just deciding where you're going to put it. Um, and then sizing your system, how many barrels do I want to do? Um, and then ultimately um, an interactive process to customize your kit. So, um, and I'll just tell you before I dive in here, I will, I'm gonna show you two things. I'm gonna show you how you order a multi-barrel system off our site, which is really our flagship um, and trademark design. Um, uh, I'll also, some people just want a single rain barrel. Uh, and I understand there are reasons for that, even though we, I think all three of us would say the more storage you do, the better. But if, if you got space and budget for one barrel and that's where you're gonna start, we do have an option for you. And I'll show you that after I show you the um, multi-barrel setup. So when you're ready to order a blue barrel system, you click into our online store and we have a few options and some visuals here to help you understand, oops, what those options are. Um, so the blue barrel rank kit with barrels is the whole shebang. You're gonna get, um, you're going to get recycled barrels and we actually give you a voucher to pick them up locally and then the rest of our products are mail order and you'll get a customized kit with all the parts to put together the configuration that you customize on our website. Um, we also sell the rain kit without barrels. These barrels are all over the place and you may have your own. Um, if you go through this portal, there's a little compatibility checklist to help you make sure you have the right kind of barrels that's going to be compatible with the kit. Um, and we do an add-on kit. So if, if this is a lot to get your head around and you want to start small, um, you can always add on later once you really see and feel how quickly those barrels fill and how useful it is to have that water. Um, so I'll go over these lower options later, but I'm going to start here. So for anyone who wants the whole shebang, you're going to click into rain kit with barrels. Um, and the first thing we ask is how many systems do you want? And all that means is, you know, here's a visual. So this is a single four barrel system. This is also four barrels, but broken into two systems, two downspouts. So that's what we're asking you there. Um, our website will let you customize up to four um, kits at a time. Um, and I'm just going to, I'm going to show you, I want to give you as many um, visuals here on pricing et cetera, as I can. So I'm going to do a big setup. So I'm going to say you want four systems, a two barrel, a three barrel, a four barrel, and a five barrel. So that's going to be a total of 14 barrels. And now um, our website lets you search our database. So I'm going to use San Mateo, California. And you can put an actual address in here for a, um, 
you know, precise results, um, but you can also just use a zip code or a town. Um, I'm going to expand the search radius um, as much as possible, which is 200 miles, just to show you um, sort of how this feature works. But it takes about a minute. And um, soon we're going to see a list of all of our local barrel pickup options. OK, so at this time, Hayward, for this order, for 14 barrels, um, the closest pickup spot would be Hayward. And we tell you what was in the barrels, what the pickup hours are. Some of our barrel suppliers offer delivery. None of these guys do, though. So you pick your, your barrel pickup spot. And then, then it prices you out, and it starts to line item the order. So um, people are always curious about pricing. We use a dynamic pricing structure. Um, so you can see that each, each barrel you add to the system adds less and less to the total cost. So for example, a four barrel system is only about $25 more expensive than a two barrel system to double the size. So you really start to see that economy of scale when you do the larger systems. Um, but we also break it down for you in terms of price per barrel unit and price per gallon of storage capacity, because that's how you compare prices to other products that are out there on the market. So um, you know, $80 per barrel unit is very typical, um, hard to find things below that. So we really take pride in um, making an affordable, you know, as well as a sustainable and locally upcycled solution for folks. Um, and then our online store will show you, these are the exact tools you need for installation. We tell you all the sizes and everything. So if you already have them, you don't need to buy them. If you wanna pick them up somewhere else, that's fine too. But you have the opportunity to add those to your shopping cart. And then um, there were a couple questions earlier about accessories, but you'll recognize a few of these by now. Um, leaf Eater is by far the most popular accessories we sell. We, we, I highly recommend these. Here's that longer inlet hose. Um, you can order extra diverters. So our kit does come with a diverter. If you want extras, you can certainly do that. This is a rain router that lets you split water out in two directions. If you wanna have two systems filled by the same diverter, um, here's that tank gauge and all kinds of others. And I'll just say, um, we, we show our most popular accessories at this level, but we've really built up our online store for rainwater harvesting specifically. So if you really want to take a look at, and I'm not going to go over all these, but we have all kinds of accessories and they all have product details to tell you exactly what they're for. Um, you can really customize. And over time, you know, in the beginning, we just sold rain barrels and rain barrel accessories. We've sort of developed a subspecialty in gravity fed drip irrigation. Um, so we're a great sort of resource. Every bit of irrigation gear we sell works with gravity feed. So I'm, I'm not going to get into that deeply. We, we have lots of um, actually articles on our website about gravity feed. Someone was asking, how do you know if you need a pump or not? I think you could answer that question by looking at um, browsing our blog for our gravity fed info. But I will say, because this is a big gotcha, um, some people try to mix gravity fed gear or shop for their own at a store that doesn't specialize in that. Um, be careful with timers. You do, you absolutely have to have a timer that's meant for gravity feed or else it won't close properly. So you'll install a regular drip timer, think it's working, but it won't close and you'll drain your rain barrel. So if I could mention that now to save you some pain, I will. <laughs> um, so, so that's it. That's how our shopping cart works. Um, you add whatever accessories you want and then you can submit your order. And from there, it's just a classic, um, you know, online shopping store where you enter your billing and shipping info, and there's a window where you can enter your discount code to get that 10% um, off. So I know that was a fast breeze through, but it kind of gives you an idea of how our store is organized. Now, um, this is a custom built website, and the whole website is um, built to customize those sites, and there's, or sorry, the, these kits, and there's formulas behind each of these buttons. So for that reason, um, people who want one rain barrel, um, we sell our single barrel kit actually as an accessory. And by the way, if you're going to do a different kind of rain barrel, but you just need some of those accessories, like you're looking for that leaf feed or that timer, you can skip all this rain kit stuff and just go straight into tools and accessories. Um, you don't need to buy the whole system from us. So we do have that option. But I just want to point this out for folks who want a single rain barrel. It's not the underplum solution, but this is a really standard. It, it is the earth minded kit, the one that Chris showed, and you can use it um, on any kind of barrel. So we show it with a blue barrel here because that's what we do, but you could use it with um, you know, a, a different color or a different design of plastic drum. And it does come with the FlexiFit diverter. It comes with the code required labeling. It comes with the drill bits to install it and a couple of outlets. 
um, the product details tell you exactly what it comes with. So um, because of the way our, our website is designed, you, you actually, if this is what you want from us and you wanna order the barrel from us too, you actually have to place a separate order for the barrel. Um, so you would just check out with this kit um, and it, will, it doesn't cost you anymore to do that. It's just the way our website's designed. And then if you wanna order a recycled barrel from us too, you can just go to barrels and th these are just plain barrels. So I am gonna run the search again, just to show you um, how many more um, results you get when you, only, when you want fewer drums. So um, our website will only show you the barrel suppliers we have that have enough in stock to fulfill your order. So we ran this with um, 14 barrels last time and now I'm gonna run it with one barrel and we'll have a lot more choices. And I'll just mention, I already know the answer here. Hayward is your closest for now. We do have a participating barrel supplier in South San Francisco and another one in Campbell. Um, South San Francisco has been closed since the beginning of the pandemic and they probably won't open again till December. They're doing renovations as well. So um, Hayward's been with us since the beginning, since we started business in 2012. They are awesome. Their barrels have um, had pure grain ethyl, ethyl alcohol in them. So they're super clean. So if you don't mind driving across the bridge, um, that's probably your best bet for, you know, until the new year, unless you wanted to wait. Um, but, but you can see you get a lot more results. We have barrel suppliers kind of all over the map here. Some of them do offer delivery. So if you wanted to have them delivered from farther, that could be a option, an option.